Hi, boys and girls. Well, today we're going to read a story about an insect that many of us know, and this one is not very friendly. This one is called the Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. And if you look closely at her face, yep, you can see she is pretty grouchy. All right, let's find out about the grouchy ladybug. <gasps> Wait, a compound word, lady, bug, ladybug. The grouchy ladybug. I like how Eric Cow uses his paint strokes to create an image here for us to look at. It's good. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So we've got fireflies and insect and we've got ladybugs and insect. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I wanted those aphids. Well, we can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight. It said, then why don't you go and pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screamed the great grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. Good morning. Go away. You can see the little teeny tiny aphids that the ladybugs like to eat. Those are also an insect. At six o'clock, okay, wait a second, we were at five o'clock, now we're at six o'clock, so it's one hour later, and we'll look carefully at the clock and see, and as we can see, what do we notice going up in the sky and coming down in the sky? Yeah, the sun, keep your eyes on it. It met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So we've got the ladybug looking at a yellow jacket, and the yellow jacket is definitely bigger than the ladybug, and it is also an insect. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Hmm, wait a minute. Still bigger than the ladybug, and we can see on the clock that it is seven o'clock. What time will it be next? I agree with you, probably eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Wow, these insects are certainly getting bigger. But the ladybug still says not big enough. I don't think she really wants to fight at all. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, 
said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Hmm. She's definitely asking things that are getting bigger, and now we've moved to the bird family. I wonder what will be next. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Oh, great, now a member of the crustacean family. And look at that time. It's marching along. Hmm. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. <gasps> Yikes! Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Yikes! Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Hmm, I think it's big enough. Definitely smelly enough. Look at that clock. Time is marching along. Stops for no man, woman or child. At 12 noon, oh, middle of the day, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake. Right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Yikes! Watch out, squirrel! At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? <laughs> if you insist, said the hyena laughing eerily and showing its teeth. No, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Here we have one of our fur-covered mammals. On the page previously, we had one of our scaly-covered reptiles. Now we move to a mammal. My goodness. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Oh my goodness, that ladybug is so teeny compared to our mammalian gorilla's head. Ugh. Two o'clock. Um, must be three o'clock next, right? At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? Oh, if you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Do you see the ladybug right by its nostrils? My goodness. Ladybug, you should really pick on somebody your own size. In fact, you should not pick on anybody at all. It's not a good decision. <sighs> At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. You see the little ladybug right by the elephant's trunk, right there at the end. Another big land mammal. Whew. Oh my goodness. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. We can see the ladybug right there in front of the whale. Very tiny now. It's even smaller than our whale's eye. And the whale can't even be bothered answering. I mean, really, what's the point? 
at 5.15, that's quarter after five, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you! Want to fight? You're talking to a flipper. A flipper doesn't have a mouth to be able to answer you. Hmm. But it got no answer, so it flew off. At 5.30, that's half past five, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you! Want to fight? Really? It doesn't have a mouth either. But it got no answer, so it flew on. Wow, this whale is very big. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you! Want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. Here he is right here. Woo! That tail slapped him. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Oh, hello! Here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be really hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybug. Thank you. You're welcome. Soon, the aphids were all gone. Thank you, said the leaf, because aphids eat leaves. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who'd been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. That's because they're nocturnal. They're very quiet. We don't want to wake up the ladybugs. The grouchy ladybug has had a very busy day. And the other ladybug, oh, she's been busy too, eating aphids to help the leaves. Okay, friends, scroll on down and find out what your assignment is today. Shh, don't wake the ladybugs. <laughs>